Alrighty, this is my iPhone 3G comparison video between different iOS versions, and I will show you what all versions we are running here. General about, oh, we went to mail instead, my bad. General about, oh, we went to usage over here. Alright, so we got 2.2.1, 3.1.3, 4.2.1. .1. Now, um, they all do work with my SIM card, of course. I have tested all of them. Uh, this video, I won't have any SIM cards in them just because I don't have any, a bunch of active um, SIMs like I did with my last videos. Um, but here we're just really looking at, you know, a speed comparison between all three and how it kind of changed. So, this iPhone 3G has iOS 2, and I do a separate video on this of how I got this and what I had to do. This one's with iOS 3, you know, and iOS 4, and you know I got those in the lot that I bought, which that video's already up. I will link it in the description. Anyway, let's try to do this synchronize here. Let's do settings. One, two, three. As you can see, it was pretty much faster on these two. This one did seem a little bit faster, but I might hit that first. Let's go to general. And two. And that wasn't very accurate. But, I mean, some menus, you know, you're not going to see real slow down. Um, I personally like the iOS 2 just because it's so much more simpler, especially in settings, you know. I mean, it's like the versions go down you get more and then you know you switch over to something like iOS 14 and it's just all this nonsense so let's go home if I could do this it's kind of hard with three phones oops I went to songs I don't know what those songs were it just came with the phone um so let's see how long the app store takes because they all run the app store. That's pretty synchronized, I'd say. Might not even load them, I don't know. <laughs> I do have very good internet though, so it seems like iOS 2 loaded at first, which is surprising. And we're just waiting here. It looks like iOS 3 and iOS 4 is going to take a long time. I'm surprised I was too loaded that fast. They might not even load. I'm missing not now. Looks like they're going to take. Oh, I was three finally loaded. I was four is taking a very long time. Well, I'm not going to wait on it. It's taking way too long. But let's also do a little bit of comparison. So, if you were to buy an iPhone 3G, older iPhones in general, 2G, 3G, 3GS, here is a way to kind of tell the differences between iOS versions. So, iOS 1 and 2 has the, sorry, autofocus, has the text app. If it has that as iOS 1 or 2, anything else, 3 or higher. If it doesn't have the App Store, it more than likely is iOS 1. And if the iTunes logo looks different than this, if it has an arrow instead of the song thing, it's iOS 1. If it's on this side, it's 1.1.4. If it's over here, it's 1.1.2. But that's for the 2G. We're just going to worry about the 3G here. This is how you tell the differences on the 3G iOS 2, 3, 4. Text on iOS 2. If it's messages, it's 3 or 4. If the voice memos app is red versus this blue, it's iOS 3. If the calculator looks like that and not like this, it's iOS 3. However, if there's folders, it's for sure iOS 4. But that's just a little comparison video between each of them and I'll have a separate video talking about this iPhone with iOS 2 and how I got it. It's also the white one, but
be a separate video. Also, this video and the video on this tell me how the quality of my 12 Pro Max is I'm recording with in 4K60. I think the audio is really good considering it was way better than what my iPhone 8 was recording, which is what I was recording before I got this phone. But that's the video. Thanks.